وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتْرِ وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَسْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by الوتر which is the odd day which is عرفه the best day of the 10 days the best day of the year which is the day of عرفه and the Prophet sallallahu says to us that there is no day in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sets free more souls from the fire than on the day of عرفه on that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws near to the earth in a way that befits him and he exhibits his, his benevolence and he remarks to the angels, he boasts to the angels, Ma araada what is it that these servants of mine desire when they're coming out to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In this regard, the people are calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in different languages and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls the angels to bear witness that he has forgiven them. May Allah make us all amongst those that are forgiven. This is a day of dua. What is it to be found within that dua? Well, first and foremost, a tawbah. And that's why the Prophet said it's the worst day of the year for shaitan. Shaitan has on his calendar marked the day of Arafah. It is the most humiliating day of the year for him. He tries to take you away from Allah. And on that one day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws you near. And all of the effects of shaitan, all of the sins that he stains you with, it is gone on that day in particular. The Prophet ﷺ taught us to spend the entirety of the day in calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until the sun sets, until Maghrib, every moment is precious on that day of Arafah. So what is the best dua of Arafah? The Prophet ﷺ made dua on the day of Arafah all the way from Zuhr to Maghrib without pause. And we don't have anything of his dua except for one, SubhanAllah. The Prophet ﷺ said, the best of what I and the Prophets have said on this day. So when Musa ﷺ stood before Allah on this day, when Ibrahim ﷺ stood before Allah on this day, when Muhammad ﷺ stood before Allah on this day, what did they say? لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير None has the right to be worshipped Allah. He alone who has no partners, to him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and all praise and he has power over all things. Make sure that you say it at least a hundred times ta'ala on that day. Fasting on the day of Arafat will be credited with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiving one's sins of the previous year and the following year. You're supposed to fast on the ninth of Dhul-Hijjah. It will forgive your sins of the year before and the year after. So dear brothers and sisters, don't limit the mercy of Allah upon you. Don't limit the good deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. Exert yourself on the day of Arafah in dua. 